It is summer, and while the temps are going up, so are the amount of photos you're probably taking, whether it's at the beach, a family reunion, or on vacation. But how can you look your best in those shots, especially if they end up on Facebook? Here to show you how to pose like a Hollywood starlet is model Shelly Goodstein. Welcome back to the show, Shelly. Thank you. Love having you. So you've written a book, you have a blog, you look beautiful for a job, and now you've got a ton of tips for us to look beautiful as well. Well, I hope so. You know, I have my book, Face This, and it really talks about how to look great in front of the camera, mm -hmm. but I started a blog because if you ever ha had like a girlfriend, you say, oh, I really like your dress. Yes. And she says, thank you. And then you have a girlfriend will say, oh, I got it at such and such mm -hmm. store. It's from last season, but I saw some here. Well, I just sort of wanted to share <coughs> more than um, more than what I just had in my book, more beauty secrets and things that I find that are really helpful when I'm shooting as a model. That's great, and that can be helpful to all of us. And you have about eight tips here, and you say these are really useful if you get invited to a party at the last minute, an event, if there are tickets that you get at the last minute. So let's go through a few of these. De-bloat, why is this important? How do we do it? Well, it's true. Sometimes you do get those last minute invitations and you want to say yes, but the thing that I think most women struggle with is they want time to lose a few pounds. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and water weight is maybe responsible at times for three pounds. Wow. And so there are things that you can do within 24 hours to kind of help de-bloat. Mm -hmm. And uh, first of all, drinking water so that your body's not holding on to the water and going into survival mode. Um, and there are some foods that you can eat that are natural diuretics like watermelon, pineapple, asparagus, and then right before a photo shoot, like the night before, I like to eat an oily fish that has omega-3 fatty acids, okay. like maybe a salmon. It has an anti-inflammatory effect. I feel like it just makes my skin look prettier. And that's just yummy food, too. It's very healthy, and it's not going to contribute to a bloat. Right, and probably just avoid salt as well. Absolutely. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, fake a tan. You also say everyone looks better with a tan. Do you think so? I think so, <laughs> and everything on me that's tan is fake, so how do we <laughs> fake a tan? Well, there are a few ways. Uh, sunshine in a bottle, of course, and have you ever gotten a spray tan? I have. I did it on the show, too. Oh, fun. Yeah, Alex got sprayed right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to get a spray tan. I go on the lightest setting, and there are also some uh, sprays on the market now. Uh, Sally Hansen makes one that has shimmer for your legs. And what's really cool to do for your legs, um, especially for photos, is to really make them shiny and shimmery. In fact, um, if you can really play with your shin, mm -hmm. uh, I know f photographers that actually Photoshop in that shine that's Whoa. on your shin. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Does it make it look slimmer? What does that Well, it does because you're, um, especially if you have a tan, because think about anything dark recedes. So if your legs are dark and then you're adding that shimmer just on your shin bone mm -hmm. on the center, it kind of makes everything else look thinner. Interesting. Oh, yeah, look it's at very you pretty. All your tricks. Huh. <laughs> all right, beauty sleep. Is that a myth? It's not. And actually, there was a study published by um, some people in Stockholm in December that looked at um, people's rating them on their attractiveness with eight hours sleep versus five hours sleep. So it's not a myth. And I know you're here every day, but I'm sure there are some nights where you don't get as much sleep you as bet, you want, yeah. right? And um, so for those nights where you do have not quite as much, don't forget the Visine. Keep, keep your eyes <laughs> wide. Yes. All right. Good advice. Uh, pump it up, not just biceps, but also lashes. How do we do both? Well, you do want to pump up your biceps. So like if you're doing a fitness shoot or you have something um, where, you, like if you're wearing a sleeveless dress on the red carpet, just do some chair dips, you know, for your mm -hmm. triceps and maybe some push-ups and it will make your muscles swell for just a little while and it's really, really pretty. Right, I, there is nothing sexier than a little bit of tone on a woman's arm, oh, right? Absolutely, I absolutely. Agree. Lashes, how do we pump up the lashes? Well, the most important thing to do with your lashes is to use an eyelash curler and um, because that will open up your eyes mm -hmm. for sure. And then there are volumizing mascaras and there are lengthening mascaras. And it's really fun if you can use both, like use one coat of one and then one coat of the second. Oh, okay. Brighten up hair, teeth, skin. Yes. You know, um, unfortunately for those of us that are aging, 
the world still equates beauty with youth mm -hmm. and um, there isn't anything more youthful than radiant skin and white teeth and shiny hair so there are things that you can do at the last minute um, the night before like the crest white strips yes put those Big on fan. yes they are great and Hollywood's kind of going away from that blue white tooth but <laughs> still you don't want a yellow tooth so no. like just brighten it up a little bit and for your skin uh, the best way to brighten it up is to exfoliate uh -huh. and there are products and tools and things that you can use but really simply just go in the shower take a clean nubby washcloth and just exfoliate your face and take off all those dead skin cells mm -hmm. that are just laying on there making your skin dull. All right, very easy. Washcloth can be easier than that. Dress the part. You recommend Spanx. Well, yes. You know, there are models that are really young that show up on sets with their Spanx. It's not like for old ladies. It's <laughs> okay. not a girdle. And the shapewear that's out there now is amazing. And it it hides things, it lifts things, it does all sorts of great things. So, you know, wear them. Wear them underneath your clothing and it will give you a really smooth line and make you feel more confident. All right, and I know we want to get to posing, but you say confidence. How, I mean, it seems very basic, but what do you recommend? Well, confidence is basic and so many of us, um, you know, we, we don't feel it within ourselves and women are really hard on themselves especially they mm -hmm. notice their imperfections guys aren't like that like guys are happy if you just show up right? <laughs> That's true. and um and so the best example i can give you is a plus size model mm -hmm. like they come to the table without any body issues and they're full of health and vibrant and and sensuality and you know they don't worry about those things that right. you know we clutter our mind with because if if they're thinking about a thousand ways to look thinner and they do look thinner they're not going to work because they need to look size 14. That's so it's really tough. liberating and um, that confidence I mean everybody's attracted to confidence. It glows right? And it shows on your face and I guarantee you that no matter what your body is doing no matter how perfect no matter how perfect your pose if your face doesn't look relaxed and happy you're gonna hate your photos. True. All right, well, speaking of poses, you are going to show us a few. Who poses better than Paris Hilton, right? Oh. But you're gonna try, and you're going to show us how. Right, I am. So, Paris Hilton, her mm -hmm. signature look, and the reason I uh, decided to, yes, there she is, beautiful She's Paris. looking good. <laughs> Um, so her signature look is really easy to copy. Okay. So what you want to do is think of 10 and 2 o'clock. Okay. So you want to put your hips at 1, 10 or 2 o'clock. And then you want to keep your leg that's closest to the camera straight mm -hmm. and pop out the other leg. And once you pop that out, you're going to turn your shoulders to the 10 o'clock position with your hand on your hip and arch your back up really high. Wow. And that, that is, is her so signature pose. <laughs> there you go, you that got it. So awesome. Bravo. <laughs> and you're you're a natural. This is why you're in the job you are. <laughs> oh well, clearly, Paris and I have so much in common. Kelly, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, really, my really pleasure. Good advice, so my thank pleasure. you. Thanks for having me. And if you'd like to learn more about how to trick the camera, just go to Shelly's blog, face dot this dot me. Is it d dot face this dot me? Face this dot me. Yes, I wrote a book um, because so many of my friends were always asking me, how do you take a good picture? Mm -hmm. And um, and a lot of my friends also have young girls that want to get into the modeling business. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wrote this book, and it's for the ordinary girl, how to look great in a photograph. And it doesn't matter what your age is, you always want a beautiful photograph.